it's difficult to narrow down everything that happened at CES this year. We met tons of promising new startups and went hands on with brand new gadgets on the floor of the expo hall, nightly events and on our hardware battlefield stage. These, in no particular order, were the hottest hardware startups and most interesting gadgets from the show, and you can find our full coverage of this year's event here. Top 7 of those gadgets are Number 1, Plume is a wearable device that tracks pollution around you, kind of like a Fitbit for air quality if you will. It tracks particulate matter PM2.5 nitrogen dioxide, ozone, volatile organic compounds box temperature and humidity. It can be clicked to a bag and is designed for people who live in big polluted cities. Number 2. The Smart Toaster is here. The Griffin Connected Toaster has a slider on the APP that lets you micromanage how toasty your bread is. On one side is an icon of a white piece of bread. On the other is one that's all black. Ridiculous or brilliant. Number 3. Wearables company Osterhow Design Group ODG unveiled its first consumer AR Flash VR glasses, the first to be built on Qualcomm's Snapdragon 835 chip. The R8 and R9, two models of augmented flash virtual reality smart glasses aimed at a wider range of consumers and light business users. The R9 pictured above will ship around Q2 of this year and are priced around $1,799. They're aimed at light enterprise and prosumer users for high-end smart glasses apps. Number 4, Polaroid had a hit on its hands with the snap. But now the company has announced Polaroid Pop, the photo printing camera that returns to Polaroid's iconic 3. X4. Size. On the rear of the device is a 3.97 inch touchscreen LCD, allowing you to see your shot before it develops. The prints look pretty great. Number 5. Motivi's fitness tracking ring has cracked the whole fitness band's work of functionality into a ring. The titanium encased device tracks sleep and fitness, including steps, calories and distance. It also manages to pack in an optical heart rate sensor, boasting a battery life of 3 to 5 days on one charge. Number 6, there were so many TVs at CES that it's hard to stand out. But Sony's new TV for its flagship Bravia line actually looks pretty great. It's a 4K HDR OLED TV that Sony is calling the A1E series. The TV has an edge-to-edge -edge design and is standless, meaning it sits directly on the ground and has a back leg that it leans against. This also means it doesn't have speakers. Sony says that sound will come from the screen itself using new technology it is calling acoustic surface. Number 7. Checking your blood alcohol content with a breathalyzer while out with some friends might just be a party trick, but if you really wanted to know it to figure out whether or not you should have another drink, it might be awkward to pull one out. Milo Sensors is a company built around wearable sensors that detects various chemicals in your body based on perspiration from your skin with this wristband. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe weekly tech analysis.